Hello, my name is Anna Schofield and I'm a local artist and mindfulness coach and I'm here today um, as part of the Decorum Borough Council Wellbeing Festival to show you a one of my favourite, in fact, ways of doodling. It's a meditative art form and it's called um, Mindful Tangling. You may also hear it being called Zen Tangling and it's, it's really a way of drawing where you can get really engrossed in the process and the wonderful thing about it is you can actually create some really really beautiful pieces of art and it's just making simple patterns using lines circles and dots so anybody can do it all you need in order to do this activity is a piece of paper you might want to use a ruler I'll explain why in a moment a pencil and a fine liner. I've got a range of different fine liners here, but you just need one really. Generally, these are done using a black fine liner, but you might want to add a little bit of colour, and you can get some really beautiful fine liners these days. So there's lots and lots and lots of different colours that you can use. <coughs> So I'm going to show you a couple of different styles of tangling today. And the first one is really to practice. Well, if you're a beginner and you haven't done this before and you want to practice, you might want to draw a grid, which is why you might need your ruler. So you would draw a grid and then what I've done is I've just drawn some random lines through that grid and I start to fill out the centrepieces with different patterns so I'll show you what I mean I've got a few already started on this page um, but you can just do a series of lines and circles zigzags and dots so I'm actually going to start in this one here and I'm going to start by drawing a nice zigzag it doesn't matter if this is even or not. Some of my triangles are much bigger than the others. It doesn't really matter. It's just about really having fun. And the reason this is so meditative, and sometimes I will stop talking when I do this because I get really focused, um, is it's about the repetitive pattern. There's something about making a repetitive pattern and just repeating that over and over again that's really really relaxing and what it does is it starts to quiet your mind while you're doing this you may want to put on some nice music some music perhaps without any lyrics so that you're not distracted by singing along and you can just put on some really gentle music and just continue that repetitive pattern over and over again and just see what happens. You might notice that your breathing starts to slow down. You may notice that your body, your, your shoulders sometimes tense up when we're feeling a bit stressed or overwhelmed and you might just find that your shoulders start to relax a little bit. Um, so just notice what happens as you start to draw your patterns. So I've done my zigzags in there and at the moment I'm just going to leave it as zigzags but I might go back in there and put a few dots or some extra lines in there. And what I'm going to do now is, oh I know what pattern, I like this one, I'm going to do some small circles and then I'm going to do some large circles around the outside so they look a bit like big googly eyes at the moment and I'm just going to place those randomly in this section. And then what I'm going to do, starting from the inside circle outwards, I'm going to draw some lines. So they start looking a little bit like flowers or sunshines. But this pattern looks beautiful when it's done. And again, it's very, very simple. Just one tiny circle inside another and just drawing some straight lines. And you'll see they make little triangle shapes as I draw. And 
and then you might want to go round the outside circle again and put a little board around and this time you might want to make it a little bit wobbly. I like things when they're a little bit uneven. It's a bit like us, we're not perfect are we? We have our, our wobbly edges and our wobbly days and so I kind of include that a little bit in my artwork and I think it's nice. I never strive for perfection and when you're doing tangles like this um, sometimes you want them all to look exactly the same and all to be absolutely perfect and that's actually going to cause you a little bit of, of anxiety around it and so the best thing I think is just to let go and allow things to happen um, as they as they do I mean in this one here I'm just thinking oh maybe I could put another one another half one here or here but actually I'm gonna leave it it's not exactly as I wanted it but it's near enough perfect and um, that's good enough for me so in this one I'm gonna draw some lines again just random wobbly lines but I'm gonna start them all from this corner and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some little shapes along those lines that might be leaves, just small little shapes in there. So it gives the impression of some kind of plant or vine. And again, really, with this tangling, tangle is, is basically the word we use for the lines and the patterns that we draw. They're called tangles. And these kind of tangles, you can literally do anything. I always like including a few plants or leaves in my work. I really am very drawn to nature, and I like including a bit of botanical um, imagery. But you can put whatever you want. Some people really like stars and triangles. You can put in little hearts. You could put little sunshines, little eyes, really whatever you want to do. There are no rules which makes this form of art really wonderful. So there we are. So what you would do on this kind of design is just continue drawing and drawing until all the patterns are filled and you'll come up with something that looks a little bit like that one on the bottom. So that one is completely filled up with patterns. Okay, so that's what we'll be looking for. Now, another type of tangle that you can do, you can actually draw little pictures, which I really love doing. I make little um, journal books, so if you're interested in how to make these, I run courses regularly. At the moment they're on Zoom, but I do run courses in person as well, um, and do art journaling courses. So if you're interested, do have a look on my website, which is www.annasfunkyart.co.uk. Um, but this, this little one is um, partly a face and then what I've done is I've drawn these lovely wispy lines across here and I've put the tangles or the patterns in where the hair would be. And so that's one way to draw, draw the picture. Um, another one here is a very, very simple um, flower design, okay, again with the, with the stalk and the leaf and again I've just put tangles in there. Um, so I'm just showing you a few different options and things that you can do and um, one of the favorite favorites that I've ever done is this lighthouse one which is just beautiful with the light of the lighthouse and then I've got a sun here and waves and rocks and hills so you can really really um, do some beautiful things so what I'm going to do now is show you how to do a simple landscape tangle so I always like to start with a sun I think the sun is great because you can get these beautiful long rays um, which you can then put these lovely tangles in so I really enjoy doing sunshines I've got another one here which has got a lot of very straight lines a very very simple Sun really nice and and plain but very very effective so you don't have to do anything too fancy so the first thing I do is I draw a half circle in the top corner here you can do either side actually I don't know why but I always seem to go for the right hand side 
Now that is not a perfect half circle, but I'm going with it. I don't really mind. Um, I'm going to do another line round here just to make it a little bit more curved. There we are. So now this is a bit thinner here and a bit thicker here, but I'm going to leave that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in some hills. So I'm just going to start over this side, come down, and I'm literally just doing some really nice, simple curved shapes. And I might put, shall I put, yeah, I'll put another hill in here. And then, and this is where your ruler comes in handy. You might want to do this part, the planning part, with a pencil first. I always go straight in with a pen, um, but if you're feeling a bit less confident, you might want to just do this bit with a pencil and then rub out the lines afterwards, but you will need to go back over them with, um, with a pen at some point. And then what I do is I kind of look for the middle, and I draw my lines down here and you want it a bit thinner where the sun is and a bit wider where the hill is so you just have to draw these lines at an angle and these are going to be my sun rays and they're nice and thick so that I can get a good amount of pattern going on in those and Probably one last little one there. Okay, so I've got my basic shape now. And all I need to do is start filling it up with different tangles, different patterns. So I think I'm going to put some zigzags here where the sun, just on the edge of the sun. And again, I'm not lining them up particularly with the sun rays. I'm just going to draw my tangles. This is a really fun activity for any age as well. Children really enjoy doing this as well as adults. So hopefully you've got the whole family involved in this workshop today. Um, I'm going to draw a few more lines around here. And that just gives me a little bit of extra play with the patterns and here I'm gonna draw some straight lines there's something very relaxing just about drawing repetitive straight lines you'll find out when you give this a go And as you're drawing, just remember to check your posture as well. Don't be too hunched up and don't go too close to the paper because it can put strain on your neck and your back. So just make sure that every now and again, you sit up straight, roll your shoulders round, give your neck a little stretch and you can always push your arms out like this and just give yourself a little stretch just to, to keep yourself from getting aches and pains in your neck and your shoulders as you're drawing. So I'm going to carry on with my pattern. I'm going to do some little loops. And I'm going to leave the sun for a little bit and I'm going to come down here to the hills now and think, right, what do I want to do on my hills? So what I do like to do is divide these up a little bit into sections so I can put different patterns in each section of the hill. And again, I'm just using really long lines at the moment. And then in these lines, I'm going to do some circles because I haven't done any circles on this one yet. So I'm just going to fill these. These are quite big circles and I'll show you another of my favourite patterns in a moment. So these I'm just doing one circle. You can see that they get bigger or smaller depending on the width of the line so that it fills that space beautifully. There's a little bit of overlapping there but again it's okay. Um, so another of my favourite patterns is taking the idea of circles but this time I'm going to do lots of circles but in different sizes. So I'm going to do some small and some big. And for me, this kind of reminds me of different strata within rock. You know, you get different layers in rock formation. And this is um, just kind of like one of those stratas. So it's a little bit geological, this one. 
I'm going to do some tiny little circles in there. I'm going to stop for a moment and show you something else that you can do. Now, you don't have to do this. This is totally optional. But what you might like to do sometimes is actually, and I've done it here, is fill in the gap in between the circles. And it just really brings those circles out a little bit. So what I use for that is a brush pen, but you can just as easily just colour in with your fine liner. I just find the brush pen is a little bit quicker and more efficient. And you just start going in the little gaps in between the circles and just filling in a felt tip a thin felt tip is good for this and you don't want to go over into the circles that you've already drawn but just filling in that gap And this is the part now where I start to really get absorbed and it's, it's actually called flow from the artistic point of view. It's called flow and you get really engrossed and absorbed in the moment and that's where the mindfulness element comes in with this particular style of art. You become really absorbed in the moment and the thoughts that we normally have racing around our heads all the time um, just become a little bit quieter. They kind of stop and you get really focused on what you're doing. So, you know, if you're having one of those days where there's a lot of thoughts racing around your head and you just think, gosh, um, you know, these, this is becoming a little bit intrusive and it's, it's beginning to, you know, make my day not quite as good as it could be, you might want to just do a tiny little Zentangle. Just five minutes of this can just give your, your mind that little break that it needs so that it can carry on and you can, you know, carry on and really enjoy your day. Um, so, an example of that I've got here. I'm, I love to make these little, they're called design books, and they're just made out of one piece of paper. And this one is a really teeny tiny one. And it's one that I made just one, one evening when I had literally 20 minutes spare and I just did a couple of these little pages then another evening I've done another couple of pages um, so you don't have to go big you can do really tiny um, patterns which is a lot of fun as well so it's just really up to you how you use this technique I'm just going to do a little bit more here and then I'll show you a couple of other patterns that I really love to use. Because I can always come back and finish this later. But you'll get the idea. Ooh. And if you do have a go at this and you want to share photographs of what you've created, please do. And remember to tag me in. So it's hashtag Anna's Funky Art. You'll find me on social media under Anna's Funky Art as well. So I will show you another pattern that I really, really like doing. Um, and it's like a kind of, it's like a herringbone pattern, really. Um, and what you do is you find a corner. So I've got a lovely corner here in between my two hills. And you start by drawing one small little um, curve and then you come round. And it's a little bit like a seashell. And then you come into the next corner and you start there, you do a small one. And then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then you can come into this next so you're always starting in a little corner and it fills up the space actually really quickly so the circles I just showed you that takes a long time this one you can actually fill up quite a big space fairly quickly so if you want to you know not take too long 
there are certain patterns like this one which are really really good and fast and they look lovely so I'm just going to keep going here I'm going in all different directions and I can just go side to side and keep my pen on the paper and again it's just that lovely movement that is really enjoyable So you can see there, I've filled out half of the hill. I'll leave that other half because I'm going to show you a few more patterns. Another favourite one I've got is this one. Now, I'm just going to show you how I do this. What I do is I start just drawing these little lines, but what it makes is this lovely circle shape in the middle. And you can just... The idea is not to go right into the center and you get these lovely circle shapes. Oh, that one needs to come in a little bit more. Just like that. That's another really nice space filler. You've probably noticed I like to do things quickly. <laughs> which is actually why I think for me this type of tangling is really good when I'm creating my big abstract art um, that I generally do it's very quick um, and I get results and I fill the canvas really speedily whereas this actually makes me slow down and sometimes in my life I'm speeding around doing things busy busy and actually sitting and doing something which slows me down it slows my brain breathing it slows my thought and my mind and it slows me down and I think that's why it's really really good so even though I've got these little tricks that are my space fillers um, I am actually doing things much slower than I would normally and that's why I'm really really attracted to this particular form of art it's something that I do for myself as an artist I'm quite often painting um, pictures and things for other people but the Zen, the Zen tangling is something that I do for me and it is for my own well-being and so it's something that I really enjoy sharing with other people so let me just see where I'm at um, okay so I'm just gonna do the sun rays now because here we can go with lines now you may want to use a ruler if you want to do something like here I'm gonna put some long lines all the way through but if I did this with just by hand they would be quite wobbly so I'm just going to use my ruler and I'm going to make sure that this end is much thinner than this end because otherwise I will run out of space. Um, so I'm just going to make these lines here. And that's it for that summary. That's all I'm going to do. Very, very easy. Now, for this one, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to draw the lines by hand, but I'm going to do dashes. So I'm going to do a long and then maybe a couple of short and a long one quite randomly. And then you'll get the idea. And this, I think, looks really lovely. So we're just going with dashes. And then that's that sun ray fill, filled. And I'm just going to go to this one now. And just looking at my other artwork now for a bit of inspiration. Um, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to do a couple of zigzag lines. And then I'm going to fill those with some straight lines. So the sun is all about straight lines 
on this particular one and the hills so far are all about circles so you get that nice kind of blend between the circular hills with lots of circle patterns in and then the straight lines of the sun rays with lots of line patterns you don't have to um, follow any particular rules but that's just just seems to be what's happened today so I'll carry on with that theme so again I've just filled that with some lines and then I'm going to go over a different way there so each of the sun rays looks very different but it all works so with my zigzags in here I'm probably going to just go and add a few other lines lots of straight lines there Bring some circles into this area. notice my shoulders hunching over so I'm going to do a little roll round and a little stretch and sit myself back up straight um, so what I would what I would do now is just continue with this particular um, pattern and just carry on so with with zentangling there is so much that you can do you can create um, pictures you can do just pages of pattern um, but really it's not about the end result it's about the process it's about actually getting absorbed finding yourself in that flow slowing down your breathing allowing yourself to have 10 minutes half an hour out of your day out of your busy schedule just to do something creative and to slow yourself down and to have a lovely relaxing break and that really is what it's about it's about the process not the end result um, so I really hope that you give this um, technique a go and let me know how you get on if you're interested in doing any workshops with me um, Again, have a look at my website, www.annaspunkyart.co.uk, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.